long COVID has quite a profound effect on, on people's lives. So the, the people uh, suffering from it, a lot of them haven't been able to go back to full-time work. You get lots of different symptoms. Um, generally, the most common would be fatigue and breathlessness. A lot of people also suffer from so-called brain fog as well. So uh, lots of different symptoms, how they all integrate, uh, we're still working out. And what we found when we looked at patients when they initially came into hospital with COVID was that the immune system was quite uh, severely dysregulated. Some immune cells uh, seemed to have been overstimulated and had reached a stage of being exhausted. And what we think happens is that those cells then uh, are less able to clear up the damage after COVID-19 has been in the lungs. So what that means uh, for long COVID, we don't know yet. And that's really what we want to uh, look at through this BMA Foundation grant. What we think is that at least uh, in some patients with long COVID, some of the symptoms that they might have might relate to the immune system not quite going back to normal uh, after their COVID-19 illness. Often on reflecting how to, how to do the research, um, it's all sort of stemmed from what uh, patients, I guess, ask when they're in clinic with us. People don't expect us to have a cure or a treatment right away, but they're all seeking for some kind of understanding of how, they've, uh, of how long COVID has come to be and how things might, might play out. I think it's really important having access to uh, grants like the BMA Foundation. There has been sort of a, a gap in funding, I guess, for some of the smaller studies that are quite important for uncovering the mechanisms of how um, COVID-19 causes disease and certainly, I guess, looking at long COVID. The, the funding has also given the opportunity for a, uh, a postdoctoral research associate to um, come on board with the project. Working on COVID-19 has been one of the best experiences I've had of research. Uh, I think it has brought out uh, the best in the way that research can be conducted. We pretty much changed the entire way that we work together in the laboratory. So there, there were sort of four or five um, lead investigators who all pooled efforts and resources and all the people working uh, under those lead investigators all contributed um, to working on one, one project with one sort of um, aim and objective really, which was to understand COVID-19 better. Uh, and that, that led to such um, a quick turnaround in terms of us starting the project um, and then delivering the results. So over, over just sort of three or four months, we went from just talking about the project to actually having enough in terms of data to put a story together. That's why we're grateful for the BMA Foundation as well as it's, it's given us, uh, I guess, some resource to be able to continue a lot of those collaborations that we started in acute COVID-19. And we've, we've followed that up, um, you know, now to look at long COVID. Research is always important for um, aiming for the future. I think without research, we don't really move forward. And without moving forward, I guess a lot of the problems that we have now will remain the problems that we have now. So research is very important for aiming for the future, for trying to make the world a better place. It does take a long time. It takes time for um, one piece of evidence to be added to another piece. And then over time, that sort of slow stepping forward does mean, does lead to big changes.